Hey guys, what's happening? So, if you did not know already, based on some of the videos that I posted yesterday, um, my Royal Power 100, or excuse me, 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter has failed on me. The reason of failure is unknown. Um, I was quite literally sitting on the couch and I did not have that large of a draw on it and I heard it pop. Uh, the aquarium that I was running off of it quit working, so uh, immediate investigation revealed that uh, the four fuses, just like these these blade type fuses, um, initially it was just one of, or excuse me, three out of the four 30 amp fuses that had failed when I popped in four new fuses. You probably can't see that. That's too, maybe, I don't know, but that's broken. But anyways... Uh, they all blew, and unfortunately, I don't have any way, I don't have the, the, the skills to not only trace the problem, but possibly fix the problem. I'm sure that if I knew what was bad on here, I'd be able to fix it. I do have experience with soldering and, and that, but actually diagnosing, you know, finding out what piece here is broke, uh, shorted, whatever, I just, uh, I don't have that ability. Um, it's very frustrating. I did not sleep very well last night at all. And it essentially just means that I have absolutely no way to take the electricity from my solar panels and power anything around the house. Um, and inverters are not cheap. Those of you who know, pure sine wave inverters are not cheap. And my eventual plan down the road was to get a very large inverter to power a breakout box, but unfortunately it looks like that's not going to be happening right away. Because I'm going to have to get a new one of these. Uh, the cheapest one I found on Amazon was about $170 for the same wattage. But again, you get what you pay for. This thing was almost $300. Bucks. And uh, yeah, you get what you pay for. So anyways, uh, I did call three of the local uh, TV repair places. They basically repair TVs, VCRs, and things like that. It is a $55 bench fee at all of them just to basically set it on their bench. And the average cost per hour to not only diagnose but also repair plus parts is $75 per labor hour to fix it. So even if it took them one hour plus parts, I'm looking at almost $200 just to have it set on the bench. So, and there's no guarantee they're going to find the problem right away. They are experienced, but you know, that's uh, it could be something really complicated. I don't know. So essentially, I'm dead in the water, and um, it is frustrating. It's not going to stop me. I'm not going to suddenly just rip everything off the shed and sell it, and I'm done. But it's very frustrating to sit here and not be able to use what I'm generating and probably go at least a month, month and a half without using anything. Um, you know, I'm on a very limited budget, so unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I had to save quite a bit of money just to buy a battery, and it's unfortunate that I bought the battery just this past week because uh, I could have actually bought an inverter, but um, it's too late for that, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, anyways, you know, if anybody, you know, I've got just a standard, you know, multimeter here. If anybody has any tips, I did some internet research, I tried to look for the most common issues. Um, basically, as soon as I apply 12 volts to the input, it pops, and it blows at least three out of the four fuses these blade type fuses that are in here. I get nothing. So the fuses are popped. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's one fuse right there, one blade fuse. There is another one right there. And then same with the other side. You got one right here and then one right there. They're all right near the inputs on the DC 12 volt side. So I don't know if it's something that it's going through and then hitting a wall and just exploding from there. I'm not really sure. I'm not very good at tracing these kinds of problems. If it was obvious, like one of these was, uh, you know, puffed out or something, then I probably would have a better time. But, you know, it could be one of these MOSFETs is, is blown. Um, you know, it could be anything. I mean, really, it could be anything. And I have no technical skills to be able to repair something like this. So, unfortunately, yeah. But if anybody has any tips, if there's something that I can test, I got my multimeter here. And uh, it's always nice when people drive by real slow and look at your windows. Anyways, uh, I got my multimeter here. And uh, so, I mean, if there's anything basic that I can test for, you guys can see the multimeter. If there's something that stands out to you in this video, 
that you see is like, oh my God, you know, look at that. And you know, that could be the culprit or, or whatever. I mean, it could be these transformers for all I know, but I don't know how the failure rate is on these. You know, why it would blow three of the fuses instead of just one. If one of these transformers was bad, you know, I'm at, like I said, you know, I'm at a loss here because I'm not very experienced in circuit board repair. So just finding the problem is one issue and you know I can obviously repair the problem uh, but anyways this video has gone long enough so yeah I'm pretty upset right now needless to say and um, I could go down to my local Walmart and get one of the off-the-shelf you know forty dollar inverters but as many of you know those modified sine wave or square sine wave inverters they burn up motors they they will burn up my fans my computer will not run off of a modified sine wave inverter um, so, you know, I'm very, very limited uh, to basically a pure sine wave, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, anyways, <sighs> it's very, very frustrating. It's very depressing. I will definitely keep pushing on, but this is not something that I had expected would happen. So, all right, guys. Well, if you have any suggestions or anything else like that, please feel free to post your comments because I... If I can get away with repairing this, then that's obviously what I'm going to do. But it sounds like to me I'm going to have to buy a whole new inverter. So if there's anything you see that stands out to you, then please say something. Alright, thanks guys.